this is heaven. Mm. Everything just feels pure. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be watching Field of Dreams. So this is a Patreon pick from one of my patrons, uh, Ravi, so shout out to you Ravi, uh, thanks for the selection. Uh, and guys, if there is like a particular film that you really want me to watch and want to put to like the forefront of uh, my watch list, uh, you can check out uh, my tier with no name on my Patreon page, uh, there'll be a link in the description for that. Um, but in regards to the uh, film, um, I just know it's about baseball and a guy tries to build a baseball pitch on his land. Uh, that's it really. And really Ott is in it, who I know from um, uh, the, uh, Goodfellas, which is like one of my favourite films. And Kevin Costner's in it, although I don't think I've ever seen a Kevin Costner film before. Which is surprising, because I know he's done a few westerns as well, and I have a few of them on the watch list, which I will get to at a later date. Um, but yeah, in terms of the premise, I just, it's about a guy who builds a baseball pitch. And that's it. I don't even know anything about baseball. Um, except for actually I although I keep saying that I do have here uh, when I lived in Erie Pennsylvania I bought this uh, we were taken to see a baseball match and I got this as like a souvenir uh, so yeah see uh, Erie sea wolves yeah um, I don't really know anything about the rules of it just like home run and yeah base seconds terms I kind of know I know the New York Yankees a similar game in school called rounders but we used to use like a hurling which is um, what we use in hurling which is like our national uh, sport um, and a tennis ball I think that's what we used to use um, but anyway I, I digress uh, but guys if you enjoyed this reaction please give it a like uh, hit the subscribe button I really appreciate it it really helps the channel grow uh, but with that said let's watch field of dreams Burt Lancaster's in this Huh. Real throwback to the classic westerns. Kind of the music has a little bit of that um, chariots of fire air to it. You know, the kind of intro part. I'm terrible at imitating music, but it has that vibe of the early, the opening part of the music. My father's name was John Kinsella. It's an Irish name. He was born in North Dakota in eight. It's actually. <laughs> Kinsella is actually how you're the correct pronunciation for it, as opposed to Kinsella. Sorry, I I don't mean to kind of like um, kind of look down on how he's pronouncing it. I'm sure like a lot of Americans probably do pronounce it that way, but that's the at least in Ireland that's the traditional way of pronouncing it. He settled in Chicago, where he quickly learned to live and die with the White Sox. Died a little when they lost the 1919 World Series at the following summer when eight members of the team were accused of throwing that series. Jeez. He played in the minors for a year or two, but nothing ever came of it. Mom died when I was three, and I suppose Jeez. Dad did the best. Instead of Mother Goose, I was put to bed at night to stories of Babe Ruth, <laughs> Gehrig, and the great shoeless Joe Jackson. We did. And when it came time to go to college, I picked the farthest one from home I could find. And I met Annie. What we had in common was that she came from Iowa, and I had once heard of Iowa. <laughs> After graduation, we moved. Annie and I got married in June of 74. Dad died that fall. Good. A few years later, Karen was born. I'm 36 years old. I love my family. I love baseball, and I'm about to become a farmer. But until I heard the voice, I'd never done a crazy the thing voice. in my whole life. That's beautiful, isn't it? That's what I love now. I just love land. Nice farm. Kind of house like that in the country. Front porch. The front porch. I love those. I love those ones they arch around the whole way. Is this like a supernatural film? Okay, if you heard it the second time, you definitely know what the hell is going on here. If you build it, he will come. I thought it was if you build it, it will come. My first question would be, who was talking to me? Is it some kind of spirit or something? I was walking down along the street and I, Jimmy Stewart. I heard this voice saying, Good evening, Mr. Dog. Hey, what if the voice called?
calls while you're gone. <laughs> Take a message. But it's just I've heard that sometimes farmers out in the field, they, they hear things, you know? Voices? Do they? Is that a thing with farmers, that they hear stuff? Who's hearing voices? Ray is. Not in the field. No, I'm not. If you build it, oh. he will come. All right, that's it. Huh? Who the f Who the fuck is this? Who are you, huh? So build the baseball pitch. It's really out here. I, I think I know what if you build it, he will come means. Ooh, why do I not think this is... I think it means that if I build a baseball field out there that shoeless Joe Jackson will get to come back and play ball again. Is he? Was he a real baseball player? Are you actually thinking of doing this? No. I think he is. I can't think of one. I'm 36 years old. I have a wife, a child, and a mortgage, and I'm scared to death I'm turning into my father. What's your father got to do with all of this? I never forgave him for getting old. I never did one spontaneous thing in all the years I knew him. I don't feel a lot of people have kind of become in repairs. May be my last chance to do something about it. I want to build that field. So there is a link to the photo. He's harder than. If you really feel you should do this, then you should do it. It's bound under his corn. Why? I also know that 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 baseball song. You know, we're talking softball. It hurt in the Simpsons. Why did they call him Shoeless Joe? Well, when he was still in the minors, he'd bought a new pair of spikes and they hurt his feet. So he often played the rest of the game in just his socks. The other players kidded him and called him Shoeless Joe. Through the World Series. What's through? It means they lost it on purpose. Did that really happen as well? Thomas oh, again, I know practically nothing about baseball. Now, he did take their money, but nobody could ever prove he did a single thing to lose those games. I have just created something totally illogical. <laughs> wow. It is done. Maybe he should play a game out there. Considering how much less acreage we have for corn, I say we'll probably almost break even. We used up all our savings on that field, Ray. Jesus. Daddy. Just a minute, Karen. There's a man out there in your lawn. Ooh. It's like he knew. It's like they, they both know. Great um, expressive eyes, Raiders. Great eye acting. Imagine playing with your hero. Playing sport with your, your favorite sport with your favorite hero, your, your sporting hero. <laughs> Sorry. I, I like that little touch that was realistic because you're, you're a big fan of something, but you might necessarily be the best player, you know. Ray Kinsella. Joe Jackson. I think I know who you are. Getting thrown out of baseball? It was like having part of me amputated. Scratch itchy legs that have been dust for over 50 years. That was me. It's funny because even I kind of sometimes, and again, I just play soccer, like, obviously at an amateur level, but like, I always think like if I got an injury, if I could never play again, like how soul destroying that would be to thought of like never being able to play again. You know? The thrill of the grass. <laughs> <laughs> so that's home yeah. running, isn't it? See if you can hit my curve. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can hit the curveball. <laughs> it was a game. The sounds, the smells. It's a theater sport, is it's like a play thing. It conjures up emotions in you if you love sports or certain games, you know. Um, visceral and experience. Especially when there's a team or a player you support. Are you a ghost? <laughs> Karen. <laughs> Just kidding. What do you think? You look real to me. Well then I guess I'm real. <laughs> Can I come back again? <laughs> yeah. I built this for you. Hey! Is this heaven? No. Feels it's like Iowa. It. Come on, Ray, Ray, Ray. The stupid baseball field's gonna bankrupt you. Everybody knows it. Daddy, the baseball game is on. Excuses. It's the first time he's got the whole group. <laughs> I, re I remember actually um, when I said in the intro that we were taken to a baseball match in Erie and I remember we got like pretzel and I think we got a hot dog and it was the most American experience I ever had during my time there, just baseball match, pretzel, just, you just, you think of America, there are things you think of when you think of America um, and I always thought, well, I got a picture taken actually and um I remember um, just after the game, uh, there was a, a German roommate. He took a picture of me, but I remember I always thought of the first ever episode of I don't know if anyone ever watched Quantum Leap, but I remember there was like he had a baseball match, he had to like win a game, and it was during the night. And as we were leaving, it was the night. And it just felt like I was in that episode. Um, yeah, it was just uh, it was a really cool experience. Ray, think about what I said. You know, I'm just trying to help. I know. So I thought you two were going to watch some game. See, there's only eight of them, so they can't play a real game. They can't see it. Mm -hmm. They couldn't see it. This is really interesting. What? Who was that? I'm sorry, what? I... Ease his pain. Ease his pain? Ease his pain? What? What the... He said, ease his pain. <laughs> He's full of pain. I asked him. He wouldn't tell me. Jesus, I was having a fun day today. You know, a good day. I'm sorry. And filth like this has no place in our schools. This man is a Pulitzer Prize winner. And he is widely regarded as the finest satirist of his time. Yeah, well I really wish he had written some more. And I think if you had experienced even a little bit of the 60s, I experienced the 60s. You had two 50s and moved right on into the 70s. Annie, look at this. Who wants to burn books? Who wants to spit on the Constitution of the United States of America? Anybody? I know whose pain I'm supposed to eat. What? I know whose pain it is I'm supposed to eat. Ray, I just told you the spread of Neil Fanny. Parents, man. What about it? That's whose pain. Oh, how do you know that? I, I don't know. I just know. I mean, I was... So, in order to ease his pain, you're supposed to take him to a ballgame. Yes. One right here. If you are behind on the mortgage, that field ate up all of our savings. We could lose this farm. I won't even stay in motels. I'll sleep in the car. I'll... There's another reason I'm supposed to do it. I feel it. I feel it as strongly as I've ever felt anything in my life. There's a reason. Is there something else guiding him? Maybe? There's something at Fenway Park, and I gotta be there with Terrence Mann to find it out. Is Fenway the one with the big green wall in left field? Yeah. I dreamt last night you were at Fenway with Terrence Mann. Why didn't she say that like at the start of the day? We're keeping score on I was eating a hot dog. dog. I had the what? same dream. The fuck? Who the hell are you? <laughs> Sir, my name is Nice green. Oh my god. Okay. We got a learning disability here? Mr. Man, if I could just have one minute, please. Look, I can't tell you the secret of life. You're a public figure. I just want to be left alone. So piss off. Wait! <laughs> Wait!
It's a gun. What do you think it is? It's your finger. No, it's not. It's a gun. <laughs> yeah, I'll let me see it. Get out of here. I'm not... What are you, what are you doing? I'm going to beat you with a crowbar Ooh. and then you go away. Whoa, wait. You, can, you can't do that. No, they don't really scare. Jesus Christ. You're a pacifist. Beaten by my own rules. So what? Knights game. Red Sox A's. Why? Something will happen there. I don't I don't know. My name's Ray Kinsella. You used my father's name for a character in one of your stories. I'm the least crazy person I have ever known. And why are you kidnapping me to a baseball game? Really good story. And I'll tell you on the way. I'm not gonna get rid of you, am I? No. If you just I want them to stop looking to me for answers, begging me to speak again, write again, be a leader. And I want my privacy. Oh, I meant... What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> so is baseball or American football the most popular sport in America? It's like the codes he has to uncover. What's the matter? You didn't see that? See what? You got another message, didn't you? You think I'm crazy? I already think you're crazy. Said the man's done enough. Leave him alone. What the fuck? Moonlight Graham. You saw it. Saw what? Voice too? It's all right to admit it. It's what told me to find you. Did you did you hear it? Go the distance. Yes. Do you know what it means? It means we're going to Minnesota to find Moonlight Graham. We're going. We? I must be out of my mind. Oh, maybe he's been hearing voices for years as well. Or during this whole period when he started hearing the voices. Oh, you mean Doc Graham? No, I think his nickname was Moonlight. Well, that's Doc Graham. He had white hair, and he always carried an umbrella. What was the umbrella for? I think it got to be a habit, you know. This could be another dream, maybe. Did he always walk in an umbrella? Dr. Graham? My name's Ray Kinsella. I'm from Iowa. No one's called me Moonlight Graham in 50 years. Is that Burr Lancaster? I told Alicia I was going to take a walk. Well, when you got to the majors, you, you played only one inning of one game. What happened that inning? I couldn't bear the thought of another year in the minors. So I, I decided to hang him up. It was like having him this close to your dreams. And then watched him brush past you like a stranger in a crowd. What's so interesting about a half an inning that would make you come all the way from Iowa to talk to me about it 50 years after it happened? Well, sir, there's a place where things like that happen, and I really think you're supposed to come with us. It'll have to stay a wish. I was born here, I lived here, I'll die here. Is that a baseball bag on his shoulder? Thanks. You're the first car by. How far are you going? How far are you going? Iowa. Towns with teams. And in some places, well, they'll even find you a day job so you can play ball nights and weekends. They haven't done that for years. My dad did that for a while, but that was in the 20s. He never made it as a ball player, so he tried to get his son to make it for him. By the time I was 10, playing baseball I got to be like eating vegetables or taking out the garbage. <laughs> anyway, when I was 17, I packed my things, said something awful, and left home, but I didn't know how. Mm. Made it back to the funeral. Though. So you never met him until he died? What was the awful thing you said? He said I could never respect a man whose hero was a criminal. Who was his hero? Shoeless Joe Jackson. Oh, 
That's the fake movie, wasn't it? I never met my wife. Jeez. You never saw his granddaughter. It's your parents. I know. I can't bring my father back. His father wanted to be a baseball player as well, so... Maybe he'll get to bring him back as well. Holy shit. We got two teams, isn't it? Hi, Joe. Hi. Good to see you. Yeah. Terry, I'd like you to meet Shoeless Joe Jackson. Great. I hope you don't mind, but we got tired of just having practices, so we brought another team out with us so we could have some real games. Yes, sir. Well, what are you doing on the sidelines here? You came to play ball, didn't you? Yes, sir. Kinsler, he needs to play. Oh. Holy shit. Are you allowed to go for her hand? Sure. Watch out, Alright, those first two were high and tight. So what do you think the next one's gonna be? No. Well. Yeah, yeah. That deep enough. Tag it up! Get on it. Ooh, got there, yeah, he's safe. Where you go? Ray, you have Look, no I'm not money. selling Ray, you. Ray, my home. you have no money. You people will come. Well, pay people what, to come. People, sweetheart. People think it's really boring, so they'll drive up and want to pass, like buying a ticket. They'll pass over the money without even thinking about it. For it is money they have, and peace they like. And they'll watch the game, and it'll be as if they'd dip themselves in magic waters. You will lose everything. You will be evicted. It's for all waiting for him to respond. Can you let down all those players? Not saying. Oh, you're crazy. You're absolutely nuts! Not nothing! And you turn your daughter into a damn space. Get your case. hands off! I'm trying to help you, run. damn it! <gasps> Can he see him though? Hot dog. Stuck in her throat. <laughs> oh, she'd be alright. She'll be turning hands to bring us before you know it. No, sir. Thank you. You can't go back, can hey, it's you? It's alright. I'm sorry. It's alright. Oh, God. I best be getting on home. And you only got one hit. Like, before Alicia begins to think I got a girlfriend. In the past. And represents that change in his career. When did these ball players get here? You were good. Do not sell this farm, Ray. <laughs> you gotta keep this farm. <laughs> his biggest a advocate note for him not to do it. Hey, do you want to come with us? Oh. You mean it? Him. Him? Come with you're not invited. It's a bit not harsh. Invited. What do you mean invited? That's my corn out there. You guys are guests in my corn. Right. No, wait. I have done everything I've been asked to do. I didn't understand it, but I've done Is that why you did this? For not you? Not necessarily. What, what interview? What are you talking about? One about Ebbets Field, one that's charged you up and sent you all the way to Boston to find me. You better not write about it. You're gonna write about it. Uh, that's what I do. Would he vanish as well? Or I'd be pretty scared to be honest. <laughs> it's a kid. <laughs> What are you grinning at, you ghost? If you build it, he will come. Oh my god. What? What is it? His father, is it? It's my father. 
was you. No, Ray. It was you. I only saw him years later when he was worn down by life. I never saw him as a young age, as a young man. Why don't you introduce him to his granddaughter? <sighs> I'm John Kinsella. You didn't even realize. I'm Ray. This is my daughter, Karen. Karen, this is my... <laughs> Like he wanted so long to, to kind of rectify what he'd said to him. So you always be careful what you say to people you care about in case you have an opportunity to tell them Catch that you're a sorry. Good game. Well, for me, it's like a dream come true. It's like the ultimate gift he could have given to his father. Is, is this heaven? Bringing your son again. It's I will. He should play with his father. Is, is there a heaven? Oh, yeah. It's the place dreams come true. Maybe this is heaven. Mm. Everything just feels pure, doesn't it? And just kind of perfect. It's you want to have a catch? He said it the whole time he needs to play again. Like <laughs> Even better than playing with, uh, with some sporting heroes. This actually eclipses it. Watch all the cars coming, people coming to see it. His daughter was right. Right, so just got done watching uh, Field of Dreams. Um, yeah, this film, uh, I thought it had, had a lot of soul. Um, there was real, I don't know, like, there was a profoundness to it. Um, there was, it really captured, like there was a, a lot of things to capture. I think, I'll touch on first, I think that that, that kind of father-son relationship aspect, I thought that was very powerful. Um, fact that he didn't get the opportunity to say sorry to his father and before he died about what he said and that kind of I guess that breakdown of the relationship because you know, there are certain relationships in life that should have a strong bond obviously with your mother with your, with your father with your parents siblings and that kind of breakdown and the fact that the father is gone and he is you know he's a young man and he's the rest of his life to live but that's always eating away and thinking about that um, and that, that closing scene where he asked him to play with him. Um, yeah, I, th I thought it was quite emotional, actually. Um, it was a very, very powerful moment. Um, and a real strong component in the film. Uh, the other thing I loved about it was that... I think just for anyone who, who, who loves sports... Uh, look, look, I'm, I'm not a... I don't know a whole lot about baseball, but... You know, I love soccer, I love tennis, and I could appreciate the character's joy and the players that were coming back playing baseball just taking in the the aura of the of the atmosphere of the, the pitch you know the field the air all of that kind of stuff you know the, the, the joy that it brings and kind of looking back at your past and kind of um as i said as an adult you still love sport you love i still love sports today but as a child that kind of almost wonder you know when you go out playing soccer your friends or whatever game you're playing uh, it really channeled and captured that um, those feelings as well um, so I think it really hit the mark in a really big way in a lot of ways to film um, so yeah uh, a big shout out again to, to Ravi great shout on the film um, a lot a lot different to a lot of the films I've watched on the channel but uh, yeah I thought it was really um, evocative and uh, powerful film in a lot of ways um, but guys again uh, let me know in the comments uh, your thoughts on Field of Dreams uh, what did you think about it, what did you like what did you dislike um, uh, but until next time it's long for it.